Welcome to Cancer. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Grace Cards and Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards, Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, Cancer. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we want three cards. Is that one card? Yes, it is. Okay, first card, Cancer, making an entrance. Okay, next card for Cancer, please. Two more cards for Cancer. There it is. One more card for Cancer, please. There it is. Excellent. Okay, Cancer, let me just pick this one up. Alrighty, Cancer, we have first card up is Peace. Peace, Cancer. Okay, when we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Beautiful. I love that. Okay, next card up is Anticipation of the Nation. Okay, here we go. Expect the best. Yes, Cancer, expect the best. Accept nothing less. Okay, <clears throat> in, a rhyming, in a rhyming mood today, obviously. Okay, the world is working in your favour, 100%. Oh man, I love this already. Okay, so we have affection. Okay, love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. Card drop. Cancer, wow. Already. Just the first three cards, wow, this is going to be fun. Okay, let's get into it here. So what have we got first? Peace. Two cards for Cancer for peace, please. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Whoop, I'm losing control of the cards here. We've got one card and we want one more for Cancer, please. One more card for Cancer. <laughs> Trying to shuffle them and nothing's even happening. That's two. We only want one. <clears throat> I was like, do I put those back, that one, first one back and take those? But no, I don't. There it is. Okay, so... Cancer, shift your energy. Shift your energy here, Cancer. It's kind of like there's this cleansing that needs to happen, I feel. Um, and, and when I say, oh, yeah, okay. So for some of you, it's the cleansing within. I mean, isn't probably, we all probably need that, right, to, to have a good cleanse. Um, but what I'm seeing also here, Cancer, is... <sighs> It's a, um, a cleansing of your energy fields. Yeah, all of your bodies is what I'm getting here. All of your bodies, not just your physical body, your astral body, your ethereal, ethereal body, mm, I can't even speak now, body, your mental body, your emotional body. Right? All of them and the other bodies, um, <clears throat> yeah, your spiritual body, your whole energy field needs clearing. And I feel like this is really, you, you're going to notice quite a significant difference. Even, even if you don't feel like you need that, I think when you do that, you are going to notice such a difference, maybe more clarity, things just just are going to start working for you okay have a look on youtube to see if there are any meditations to help do that okay guided meditations i think that would be good you could go and see um i know like when i do reiki i will work on the energy of the person on those fields um, sometimes if I feel called to, but you could specifically ask someone to do that for you. So um, there's lots of different ways to do this, Cancer. 
obviously the body the physical body is up to you you know what are you consuming what are you putting into it being aware of all that okay so yeah um the other thing is look at um fasting or intermittent fasting um because that may help clear things for you okay so shift your energy two cards for shift your energy for cancer please two cards one okay so the cancer yeah Yep, shift your energy, and this is going to bring through this consciousness. This is going to bring through this power, the power of who you truly are, okay? And it's going to connect you in with the consciousness, with the higher source, okay? Um, your higher higher um, self, right? You are going to seriously, like, I, I can't, I, I, I don't even know how to express what this energy is here, Cancer, because... It is powerful, like beyond powerful. I'm telling you now, I can't, yeah, anyway. Um, but I do feel like talking earlier about the clarity that you're going to, that's going to help your third eye um, to just see cl clearer. Um, it's going to help your intuition. It's going to help everything for you here, Cancer, okay? And we have transformation, yep. Here's the thing, Cancer, you have everything you need. You have everything you need to move forward. Um, the, the, it's the beliefs that are stopping you. Okay, you believe you don't, you believe you need this, you, you believe you need that, but in fact you have it all, you have it all within you. Shifting your energy and clearing your, your um, all the debris from your energy field uh, is going to help you walk forth with confidence with this knowingness that you have everything that you need to make the transformation in your life that I feel like you would like to happen okay and it's sort of like walking along wanting this to happen um, and doing this and doing that because there's something that you're working towards um, and there's nothing wrong with that but I just feel like it's going to make this path a lot easier for you. It's sort of like walking through the bush and you have to chop away um, like gorse and debris and stuff like that for the, you know, to make the path. Um, but once this energy is cleared, that's going to clear that for you. Okay. Okay. So we have hope and happiness here. Yeah. See, okay. So this, this is the path, right? This is what you're aiming towards, I feel. Okay, so two cards for hope and happiness for cancer, please. I love this. And I think this is going to make things, um, you know, like your mind, you're going to become more creative as well. Yeah, playfulness. Look at this, you know, having fun, enjoying the, you know, just having fun in life, right? Seeing the magic about things. No, it could be the simplest things. It could be out in nature and you could see, you know, that, oh, there could be like, you know, little pixies under that um, under that flower or little fairies somewhere, you know, like seeing the magic like a little kid would, right? Really, and this has been coming through, um, this playfulness and this childlike energy. Um, I feel like this is really needing to come through to this upliftment and this is also going to help you shift your energy too, okay? Courage, yep, because this is the thing, Cancer. It's taking courage to get to where you have gotten to from where you've been. It takes courage. Hasn't always been easy for you. Hasn't always been easy. I wonder if some of you feel as though <sighs> there could have been so much more that you could have done in your life. Hmm. I feel like shifting your energy is going to help open that up for you though. And you're going to get excited about it. You're going to be, yeah, you are, and you should, you should. Okay, anticipation, right. Two cards for anticipation for cancer, please. Two cards. 
expect the best. There they are, just like that. Love it. Um, the world is working in your favour. Okay, I'm going to take the one that's flipped over. This other one is upside down, so I'll take this one first. Expansion. Oh, yes. This is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, see how these balloons first up are floating away here? It's kind of like that, being able to hop in a hot air balloon and, and explore the world. It's not just what's right in front of you or around you. Clearing your energy, this is going to help you do that, right? Being in this piece when we, you know, this is the thing, right? When we, when we, what, what do we do? Sorry. Uh, yes, we balance silence with activity. We discover true peace of mind. And I feel like this is this, this is this um, silence, like sitting in the hot air balloon, just soaking up the journey. Right? Soaking it up. Observing. It's sort of like being the silent observer of your own life. Yes, and the world is working in your favour. Um, I also am drawn to the hands here. It's kind of like reaching out. Unity, there's some sort of unity that's reaching out in order for, it's kind of like the joining of paths, joining, sorry, the joining of hands so that the path can be continued. You can continue walking along the path. Yeah. And I feel like you're on the right track here, Cancer. You're definitely on the right track. Um... Yeah, there's magic everywhere. This is the thing. There's magic in everything. I think we just have to be open to seeing it, you know? Okay, so two cards for expansion for cancer, please. There we go. Oh, yeah, man. Traveling is the first card. The dream. <laughs> okay, so some of you, actually, some of you may want to go on a journey, right? In a hot air balloon around the world. Who knows? But, yeah, some of you may be wanting to take a trip. But here's what I want to say about this, Cancer, is that this is your path and yours only. Even if you are reaching out and there is someone else holding your hand along the way, it's still your journey. I think it's very important for you to remember that. It's no one else's, but yours and yours alone. And the interesting thing here is that this card here looks like there's nothing around. There's no flowers, there's no trees, there's nothing. So it could be very easy to kind of like not be able to see the beauty of it. But I think it's important for you. But that's, oh uh, yeah, okay. It's important for you to make the effort. Clearing your energy is going to allow you to do that, okay? Because sometimes the path can become so... Um, clouded okay and it can be very hard for us to see the direction in which we are heading and this is where it is important for you to hold on to your dream hold on to your vision hold on to what it is that you want for your life hold on to why it is that you grew towards the light because the fact of the matter is you not only grew towards the light you are the light Cancer, they may look different, but they are the same. So we could look at this and think, oh yeah, that's cancer there. Cancer's the flower. But what if, what if you're actually the light that helps the flower to grow? What if, Cancer? Just... Consider that. Yes. Love it. Okay. This card here, make a decision. Make a decision as to which path you want to go on. I just don't even know if it's about the path, though. Although with the travelling here, it could be. But what I do want to say about this 
it's sort of like make a decision as to who you want to grow into. You know, this is more about you and your growth in your life and who you want to be. Okay, so two cards for make a decision for cancer, please. Give me more info about this. Love it. No thingness. No thingness. Yeah. The no and the no thingness is the everythingness. Okay. It looks like this, and this is the thing. This is the thing about seeing. You know, the magic and everything, you could look at this and say, it's just blank. It's a black card. But in there is everything. Because look at it like a blank canvas. How would you create that? How, what would you put into that, right? You have been holding back. You have been holding back in a sense of expressing your creativity. I, I feel like there's a sense of limiting yourself and this is coming out here too feeling limited feeling like this is unreachable but it is reachable cancer okay it is just a matter of knowing that it is not believing but knowing there's a huge difference all right expect the best the world is working in your favor expect nothing less than the best Okay, Cancer, perfection. Alrighty, let's get two cards for affection for Cancer, please. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation, fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. Isn't that the truth? Right there. Two cards for this card of affection, please, for Cancer. One. Okay. I'm taking these two because that one kind of like went meh, falling out, and I wasn't sure about it, so I'm glad these two came out. Okay, so we have infinite blessings. Uh, yes, yes, Cancer. And this is, I, you know what? This is so beautiful. <sighs> okay, so this is just not about you receiving infinite blessings because they are there for the taking and they are there to be received. I think it's a matter of clearing your energy in order for them to come through. Okay, um, but I feel like, do you know what I feel like here, Cancer? Is that when you were put onto the earth, you are one of these blessings sent down. You were, you are. Yeah. I really feel like that. Like it gives me the shivers. It totally does. Love yourself. Treat yourself like the infinite blessing you are. Okay, two cards for infinite blessings for cancer, please. Two cards for infinite blessings for cancer. That was easy. Yeah, dreams. Look, this is this is sort of like, I, I get a lot of messages from this card. Okay, even though it's called laziness, just ignore the word. Okay, because I want to say this is about your dreams come through. True dreaming of what it is that you want okay acting as if you know act as if you have all the infinite blessings that you've ever dreamed of act as if you have the dream in your life put out that vibration so then it comes to you also don't act be the infinite blessing that you truly are you don't need to act that because you are it Suppression, yes, see, because you're holding yourself back, because you don't really believe it. There's a lot of, you know, this is this, the card that went to come out, okay, I can't remember what it was called, but um, it was, there was, half the picture was a storm, and I just wonder if for some of you that storm has weighed you down real heavy, um, and I feel as though it's, it's, 
there could also be circumstances in your life that has have held you down okay but the thing is that we sometimes keep ourselves held down okay and we put these heavy ropes around ourselves and we are um um unable to move forward because it comes becomes so heavy and then you know you've got this cloud here uh, on top of him like keeping him down there and the clouds for me represent thoughts and mindset okay so it's a matter of you know not keeping ourselves in that okay cancer so this is very important keep hold of the dream okay remember the path that you're traveling on expect the best okay love yourself all right you know when you are balancing silence with activity you discover peace of mind so yeah this is this is fantastic okay so the next card here is gratitude and appreciation two very powerful emotions that when manifesting are what you want to emit out to the universe you know um, and I love this because this is just seeing the magic in everything here you see a horse, see it as a unicorn, right? I love that. That's beautiful. Okay, so two cards for gratitude and appreciation for cancer, please. Two cards for gratitude and appreciation for cancer. Oh, whoa. Whoa. All right, we're taking these. Okay, they've come out like this. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got aloneness and morality. Okay, so I feel like this, um, it's sort of like this hermit card, right, of um, you, by shining your inner light. This is going to help you to release yourself from the prison that you are kept in. Whether it has been from when you were growing up, whether that's from what you keep yourself in, okay? This will help you come out of that, okay? Um, and, and will allow growth to happen. We then have control and maturity, okay? So this control here is getting out of this rigid... Um, environment i want to say for some of you um and this could even be in your mind cancer this could even be how you hold yourself back here um you know this maturity card here look at the difference look at the difference in these energies right look at the difference here in these energies this person is free to walk their path and shine their own light to lead the way. This person is stuck. Okay, and I just feel like this is representative of the choice that you have. Of which way would you like to live your life, Cancer? Okay, what do you, when you love yourself, you will know what you deserve. And you will settle for nothing less. Okay, so yeah. <sighs> cancer. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.